Welcome to Wildlife Acoustics. This is the quick start video for the SongMeter Mini 2 Wildlife Recorder. Let's see what's in the box. Here is a sheet of paper called Get Started Faster. These are the printed quick start instructions, as well as links to additional resources. This yellow slip of paper provides information to check and update the firmware. I'll explain that in a moment. The SongMeter Mini 2 is typically monitored and programmed from an iOS or Android tablet or smartphone. This is done by way of a free app, which is downloaded from the Apple App Store or Google Play. Therefore, before you go any further, please download and install the SongMeter Configurator app onto your smartphone or tablet. I'll take the SongMeter Mini 2 out of the box. Here is the microphone. On the other side is the socket where a second optional microphone can be connected. You also see the pressure vent on this side. Make sure not to block the vent with tape or some other obstruction. There are mounting brackets built into the bottom and top of the SongMeter Mini 2. You can use bungee cords or zip ties to anchor the recorder in place. If we look at the top of the unit, we see we can thread a cable lock through the mount for additional security. On the back of the SongMeter Mini 2 is another mounting point. This is a standard thread size, which is typically used for a camera tripod mount. The SongMeter Mini 2 has a hinged lid. You can see the hinge at the bottom and a latch at the top. The latch snaps open and closed. The latch can be secured with a padlock. When the latch is properly closed, the SongMeter Mini 2 is waterproof and ready to deploy. I'll open the lid. Now is the time to mention that there are two versions of the SongMeter Mini 2. The SongMeter Mini 2 can be powered by lithium-ion batteries or AA batteries. If you have the lithium-ion version of the SongMeter Mini 2, you can insert from one to six batteries. If you do use less than six batteries, insert the batteries next to each other from left to right. This will ensure the batteries will stay in place when the lid is closed. Make sure to insert the batteries with the correct polarity. Use a lithium ion 18650 battery, which includes a built in protection circuit such as those available from Wildlife Acoustics. With the AA version of the SongMeter Mini 2, you can use either four or eight AA batteries. You can use alkaline, nickel metal hydride, or lithium AA batteries. Lay the pull-out ribbon across the empty battery tray. Insert the batteries into each tray from the outside to inside. This will allow the ribbon and batteries to seat properly. Make sure the polarity of each battery is correct. If you use eight batteries, insert them in sets of four from outside to inside. If you only use four batteries, they must all be in the same tray and you can use either tray. Next, I'll insert the SD memory card. Lay the card down flat and slide it into the slot until you feel it click into place. You can use any size SD memory card up to two terabytes. Now launch the SongMeter Configurator app on your iOS or Android device. The first time you do this, you may see messages from your device asking for permission to use location services or something similar. Allow permissions for any messages you see. When the app launches, the first screen to open is the Recorders screen. Notice the Recorders screen is currently empty. Next, I'll move the power switch on my SongMeter Mini 2 to the on position. Once the SongMeter Mini 2 is powered on and is within Bluetooth range, it is detected by the SongMeter Configurator app and then listed in the recorder screen. To the right of the SongMeter Mini 2 is a status icon. 
Tap the status icon. This is the status screen. The information in this screen is generated by the SongMeter Mini 2 and sent to the SongMeter Configurator app via a Bluetooth beacon. We can see such things as the available space on the SD memory card. We can see the battery type and remaining charge. All this information is available to the SongMeter Configurator app just by being within Bluetooth range of the powered on SongMeter Mini 2. One last thing to mention here is that on occasion, Wildlife Acoustics releases new firmware updates. If a new firmware update becomes available for your SongMeter Mini 2, an alert message will be displayed when you check the status screen. The message will provide information about the update, including detailed instructions for installation. Now that I've checked the status screen, I'll tap the back icon to go back to the recorders screen. Press and hold the pair button on the SongMeter Mini 2 for at least three seconds. The Bluetooth LED blinks green, indicating the recorder is ready to pair with the app. A pair icon becomes available in the recorders screen. Tap the icon to complete the pairing of the SongMeter Mini 2 recorder and the SongMeter Configurator app. You may now get a series of messages about configuring the time zone and location. Tap yes or allow for each of these messages. Pairing the recorder with the app allows you to make changes to the internal configuration of your SongMeter Mini 2. I'll tap the config icon. This opens the paired configuration editor screen. You can only access this screen when the SongMeter Configurator app is paired with the SongMeter Mini 2. These are the current settings of your SongMeter Mini 2. If you adjust any setting in the Paired Configuration Editor screen, that change is immediately saved to the recorder. You do not need to press any additional Save or Update button. I'll leave all the default settings for now and just choose a preset recording schedule. The SongMeter Mini 2 does not have a record button. Recording is enabled by means of a recording schedule. The preset recording schedules represent common deployment techniques. The default recording schedule is record 24 hours a day. What this means is that all I need to do is turn the power switch on and the SongMeter Mini 2 will start recording right away. And that's it. Your SongMeter Mini 2 is now configured and ready to deploy. Be sure to check out our full series of tutorial videos. Thank you for watching.